Did I wear this hoodie in like my last video? Whatever. Hi everyone. I have been thinking about making this video for a really long time, but it was never the right time. You know what the title is? How to get over a mental breakdown. How to recover from a mental breakdown. Something like that. One of my favorite things to do on the internet is fart, burp, and overshare. And drink coffee, chamberlaincoffee.com. Well, let me overshare a little bit. I mean, it never hurt anyone, except for me later when I have to watch it, and then my family and friends watch it, and they're like, Emma, why are you like, are you okay? And I'm like, ah. No, <laughs> um, anyway. So basically, I had a mental breakdown yesterday. Let's just keep it plain and simple. The reasoning for my mental breakdown was basically, I just have really, really bad anxiety. Sometimes I go through phases where it's just like really, really bad. It affects my self-esteem and like my friendships and my relationships because I feel like everybody hates me, regret everything I've ever done. You know, just basically the worst emotions that you could have. Um, I just was so anxious yesterday and I actually talked to a therapist on the phone. It actually really helped. I feel a little bit better today, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm very emotionally drained. Um, and so basically I think today I'm going to use this video as inspiration to kind of have a normal day because it's like 2.30 and I've been in bed all day. The only thing I've done is feed my cats and eat. I think the first step is I need to clean up a little bit, my hygiene. I haven't brushed my teeth yet today. I haven't washed my face. I think all of that would be nice to do. Let's head to the bathroom and do that. I feel disgusting. I also just got my roots done and they're super blonde and now it looks like I have one long forehead. So, okay, now I need to brush my teeth. I also need to pee. My question is like, there are so many things I know that I could do that would make me feel better. For example, I have like, 20 packages that need to be opened right now. There's nothing, like I've never wanted to do something less. Anyway, face is clean. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pee, pee, like, I'm gonna pee while I'm brushing my teeth. Rub a little something on my face, just to kinda bring some hydration back into it. God, I got really red yeah. from that. Okay. I think I know what we need to do. To be honest, I think the first thing I need to do is be productive, which means I need to open all of these packages. Cute. Ow. Cute. What is this? Oh God. Ooh. These will be a challenge to style, but I will figure it out. Fun, fun. Oh, deodorant. For all you guys that say I'm stinky, take it back. Oh, cool! Are these gonna fit? Cool! Lamp! Cool! Oh, hello! Thanks, Bliss! What? Is that a shirt? Okay. Cute! Cute! Okay, so that was pretty much the most pointless 10 minute clip um, of my life because I did nothing except for open packages and say three words. Cool. 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 Cute. 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 That is unfortunate. Wait, what is this? <gasps> Cute. They're little peaches. Oh. Let's go make coffee. It's actually come to my attention that my kitchen is kind of a mess. I will show you. Ew. So let's fix that. I've had these flowers in my home for far too long and they are all dead. You know what? It never hurts to dip. Oh my God. I am out of disinfecting wipes. Um, I wanted to fully clean up, but sometimes things don't go our way. I think that a little coffee could help. Maybe after I drink coffee, maybe I'll put on like a comfy but cute outfit. Like this is comfy, but not very cute. <coughs> I also ran out of coffee beans. So the question is, which one am I gonna use today? These are in fact samples for Chamberlain coffee that are a secret. Wait, are they still a secret? I don't know if they're a secret by the time you see this. Chamberlaincoffee.com and see if it's a secret still or not. God, that's such a nice extraction. Getting over a mental breakdown is not, there's no specific like formula to it. You know, it takes time to mentally recharge yourself and a lot of that time is spent in bed, in my opinion. Mm. Mm. 
This actually already made me feel better. The thing is, I know that doing chores will make me feel good about myself, but I don't want to do them. It's this conflict. It's like, I know that if I do some chores, like I'll feel so good. But alas, that is the last thing I want to do. Okay, I'll do some chores. I think a good way to stay in good spirits whilst trying to refine your stability is to give yourself realistic goals. And like right now I know that I can't do a bunch of chores. I just don't have it in me. But doing like one or two small chores is gonna help me feel better. For example, cleaning the litter box. If you guys have a lot of mental struggles yourself, consider getting cats. I mean, obviously a dog helps too, but like, to be honest, I really don't think dogs, like there's something about, it's like I love dogs so much when they're not mine. Actually, that's not really true. I kind of hate other people's dogs. Like, I just don't want to take care of a dog. You like get to like snuggle the dog and be like, I get to snuggle my cat. No. The problem with like this whole process of like making yourself feel better and recovering when you, freak out is like trying to figure out what areas it feels right to push and what areas it doesn't. Sometimes you're like, ugh, I need to go get some fresh air. And that's like the right thing to do. But sometimes it's like going and getting fresh air will take too much out of you and will emotionally drain you even more. So it's like finding that balance. Whenever I like am in the midst of it, I can't make a decision. Like right now I want to be by myself. Like the thought of being around others pains me. Cat poo check. That's not the best strategy. All right, we got a chore done. <coughs> Fuck. God. Listen, you guys, I don't know what I was gonna say. I'll see you when I figure out what else I wanna do. Okay, I'm back in bed. I need to rest some more. That is A-OK. -okay. I feel like I got a few things done and now it's time for me to get back into bed, drink my coffee, chamberlaincoffee.com. I'm gonna lay here and relax for a little bit until I have another little burst of energy. The thing is you have to follow your, it's all intuitive, you know what I mean? If you're like, I think I have enough energy to go do some chores, then go do some chores because you'll feel really good after. If you're like, you know what? There's no way I'm doing chores today. Then just lay in bed all day, but it's intuitive. You have to listen to your body. If you don't know what the word intuitive means, you can totally Google it or you can just use context clues and figure it out. Totally up to you. I'm gonna watch TikToks and disappear into my heating pad. Another thing that's really comforting, get a heating pad, trust me on that. Oh, I made a mistake. <clears throat> I just went down an internet rabbit hole that made my anxiety very, very bad. My dad always tells me that when you spend too much time on the internet, looking at stuff, reading all of it, it's almost like you enter that world and then it's like really hard to get your head out of it. But I, alas, am very anxious and also I'm very red, which makes me feel very insecure, but you know what, it's okay. So I decided that I think it would be good for me to leave the house and do something relatively productive. The other day I went to this pottery place with my friend Olivia and I'm feeling like maybe I should go there again and just paint a pot or something and then that'll help relax me and then when I get home, Maybe I'll exercise or something. I'm very anxious. The first step would be to get into a cute outfit. I feel like I need to go out on the town and stunt on the hose a little bit. Oh, these shorts are cute. This little top. I don't know. It's all about like trying to change your attitude. I'm gonna really stand here for a second and really try to change my attitude. Okay, so hopefully that worked. <laughs> Okay, I think that that matches. I really don't know. Um, I don't care. See you when I change. Oh, good. I'm wearing this little shirt, jean shorts, red converse. You know what? It's comfortable. Actually, I need to call the place. Hi, can I just walk in or do I have to make an appointment? You can just walk in. Let's go paint some pottery. Not make the pottery, just paint it because Painting is hard enough. I think the key is to give yourself tasks that you relatively enjoy doing that will keep you off your phone and keep your mind focused on something. So very excited. Okay, bye. The first time I went to this place, it was only babies. So it was like me there painting pottery and then babies. It's great because babies don't judge you. You know what I mean? They don't even have brains, really. Let's say I was going to something like the mall, which obviously I don't even think malls are open right now, but whatever. I would be at risk of being judged by eighth graders. The oldest person I'm probably gonna see will be the person working at the front desk 
and they're probably 40 and they're probably like really into pottery and don't give a fuck about me. That's perfect. The last time I did this, I didn't go on my phone for literally an hour straight, which is like a f world record for me considering I've been very addicted to my phone for the past few weeks. So I'm very excited to see how this goes and take you guys along with me. Um, I also look really b No, do you know what? I'm gonna say something else. Emma, you look great. It's not true, but you wanna know the craziest thing about me though that I don't understand? I could be having like severe self-esteem issues, feeling super bad about myself and just like cry for an hour about it. And I kid you not, 20 minutes after I cry about it, I will be taking selfies. It happens every time. This car is also really bothering me. Can you f Ugh. I don't know. I think unstable Emma is kind of charming, right? Like she's not terrible. She's real. Come on, this is what you guys signed up for. My body temperature is always way too hot. And like my face is always so red. Like my face is so red right now. I can't win. Did I, the question is, did I shed a few tears on the way here? The answer is yes, which means that we need pottery more than ever. I called my mom. That's always, that will send you down the spiral, you know what I mean? And then it just went south. But we are, alas, at the pottery place. So I'm gonna go fucking paint a pot. I wish I got this on fucking camera, but I didn't. But I'm so annoyed about something that just happened. While I was painting, I felt so much better until a family walks in and it's like a mom and like the two daughters or whatever. And obviously I'm there by myself, which is, you know, kind of a not super common thing, but like, yes, I am painting pottery by myself. Yes, it's primarily children. I don't fucking care. I will do anything that will help. This bitch comes up to me this mom, she's a mom. She should know how to fucking treat children. Although I know I'm not a child anymore, I'm 19, but still, I'm still a child. She fucking comes up to me and she's like, do you work here? And I was like, no. And then she gave me a weird look and I was like, I just have anxiety, like this really helps me with that. And then she was like, okay. And fully gave me the craziest attitude. I almost started crying. I literally got up and I left. It was just so rude. Who gives a fuck why I'm painting pottery? I have so much pent up anger about that, that I believe that I need to exercise. Maybe this is why I don't film when I'm having a breakdown. Or maybe I should start doing it more. This video could possibly be the most entertaining video on my channel or the least entertaining video. We will soon find out. I need to be by myself now. Oh, oh, Emma is unstable. I cried about that. I did cry about that. This video is about recovering from a mental breakdown. When you have a mental breakdown, you're very vulnerable. So any minor inconvenience of sorts will make me cry. Actually, I called my dad just now and I told him about it and he was like, that's just mean. My tears are dried, we're fine. I took some cute selfies of me crying. That's the whole point of it all, isn't it? You gotta think about the shit that you say to other people. Like, I, I mean, I don't even think about it like that often. You know what I mean? I don't really think about like the impact that like what I, you really don't know what someone's going through because on a normal day, like, this wouldn't have bugged me. I would have just been like, okay, that was kind of rude, but like, whatever. Something like that just set me over the edge. She doesn't know that, but like, that's a food for thought. But anyway, I think I know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I'm excited about it, you know? Um, I think I'm gonna work out and then I'm gonna shower and get into comfy clothes and then I'll go get food somewhere and take myself to dinner. So, but definitely get the food for pickup because apparently me doing things by myself attracts judgment. Noted. I hope I don't cry about this one again. Okay, it is now evening time. Um, I was going to exercise. There was a lot of things I was gonna do. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna exercise, I'm gonna put all my clothes away. Unfortunately, none of those things are going to be happening. And instead, I'm going to get a vegan burger from this place called Monty's. This is what I truly wanna do with my evening, so I'm doing it. <coughs> I actually feel a lot better now. I think that I got out so many different tears um, today that I feel a lot better. I do feel like I've been watching too much TikTok and I do feel like that tends to get into my head. There's just so much information in a short amount of time. It makes me feel anxious and like overwhelmed. I'm gonna make crying on YouTube trendy again. That's my goal. I wanna start crying in my videos. Just cause like, why not? I think it's the next big thing and I wanna be the one to start it. Like I feel like we should start documenting our mental breakdowns. Can I tell you, after I cried to you guys or after I like wiped my tears off and talked to you guys about me being judged at Color Me Mine, I actually felt a lot better. I'm starting to use all of my platforms as therapy. 
So my podcast, Therapy For Me, uh, now it's actually um, infusing my YouTube channel. Should I be faking it for the cam or no? What are we thinking? Uh, I do have a stomach ache, which is unfortunate. I also have gas. See, now I'm getting a little bit too comfortable. God, the camera is just not in the right spot. Goodbye. That whole process took me an hour because it took me about half an hour to park. And then um, the line was super long. So then it took me another 30 minutes there. So, and then I lost my car for a little bit when I was trying to find it. Yeah. And I have my veggie birds wrapped in lettuce. Boring, but I'm unsure if this is something I should be eating on camera. And just like that, it was gone. Okay, so the burger's gone. Um, I don't think I've ever eaten that fast in my life. I'm sick of myself. You guys are sick of me. Like, let's just end this. Go watch something else on YouTube now. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for coming along that emotional journey. There's people walking by my car. Bop. I can act normal for a moment while they're walking by. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Thank you guys for always being there for me, hanging out with me, feeling pain with me, feeling joy with me. And I'm gonna give you a little forehead kiss because I know that that's our thing now that I give you guys a little forehead kiss. So here it is. I hope you leaned in. Hopefully you guys have a more emotionally stable day than I do today or tomorrow. Okay, that's it. Bye. <laughs>